look at these two sentences this sentence says ankita said to ravi i took your pen yesterday now in this case we are directly quoting the words of ankita these are the exact words of ankita and we have put them with an inverted commas so we are directly quoting the words of the speaker so this is direct speech whereas in this sentence ankita told ravi that she had taken his pen the previous day so we are not directly quoting the words of ankita we are not using the exact words of the speaker we are stating what the speaker said in some other words without changing the meaning of the sentence this is indirect speech so both are ways of reporting but this is direct speech this is indirect speech now when we change a sentence or convert a sentence from direct speech to indirect speech there are certain things which change like said to becomes told so the reporting verb changes also the inverted commas are removed and there is a that another thing i becomes she your becomes his so the pronouns inside the quotations they change also took becomes had taken so the tense changes or if it is future tense the modal changes also yesterday becomes the previous day so there are certain special words which indicate time or place so they also change when we convert from direct speech to indirect speech now in this lecture we will see how the modal changes when we convert a sentence from direct speech to indirect speech that is how the modal within the inverted commas changes in indirect speech so if the sentence is they said india will win the final match now over here the reporting verb is in the past tense said is in the past tense it is the past tense of say they said india will win the match will is the modal so when we convert this sentence to indirect speech will changes to would so will changes to would they said that india would win the match so when i convert from direct speech to indirect speech will changes to would they said students can recite the poetry now can is a modal and in indirect speech it changes to could they said that students could recite the poetry so when i convert from direct to indirect speech can changes to could in direct speech it is he said ravi would study for the test so would is the modal now when i change it to indirect speech it remains the same he said that ravi would study for the test so would remains would so when i convert from direct to indirect speech would remains would so will changes to would but would remains the same now in direct speech it is the teacher said nikita should get up early should is the modal now when i am changing it to indirect speech it remains the same the teacher said that nikita should get up early so should remains the same so when i change from direct to indirect speech should remains should now in direct speech i said i might be busy in the afternoon might is the modal in indirect speech 
I write it as I said that I might be busy in the afternoon. Now instead of might, if it was may, I may be busy in the afternoon. Even then the sentence will remain the same. So it will be I might. So may changes to might and might remains might. In direct speech it is Mrs. Basu said he could not find a good dress. And indirect speech says Mrs. Basu said that he could not find a good dress. So could is the modal which remains the same. So can changes to could and could also remains could. So this is how the modal changes when the reporting verb is in the past tense. That is when the reporting verb is said. If the reporting verb is in the present tense then there is no change in the modal. So when the reporting verb is in the past tense in direct speech will becomes would in indirect speech. Shall becomes should or would. May becomes might. Can becomes could. Would remains the same as would. Should remains should. Might remains might. And could remains could. So this is how the modals change when we convert from direct speech to indirect speech. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSE, ICSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.